Sing praise to our God, all who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength have come and the power of Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that we have greatly sinned in our thoughts and in our words, what we have done, what we have failed to do. I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, and we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people consistency in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which you have, that we have learned from you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. And the following day, he left with Barnabas and Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable, considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to preserve or persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisida and reached Pamph Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word in Perga, they went to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God has done with them and how he had opened the doors of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all the works, your works, give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glories, glorious splendors of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom, your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this because before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Once again, we hear in the Holy Scriptures the relationship between Jesus and the Father. And I believe it's very, very important within our spiritual life to call upon the Father and his grace and his glory. See, we are, through baptism, adopted into the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we have to realize that the power structure of God is that power is coming from the Father. Jesus even admits today he is greater than I. Why is that? Well, Christ is the Word. He is God. He's the Word of God made flesh. And He is Son of the Father. But the Father, in that sense, is the Creator of all. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's present everywhere. He's all-powerful. He's all-knowing. He created each one of us. He knows every hair on our head. He knows everything we do. He has command of the cosmos. And even when Satan tempts us, he has to ask God permission to do so. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the Father is where it's at. Yes, Jesus saved us. And through his coming to the world was the Father's greatest gift. Because it gave us redemption through Jesus Christ. And we ought to love Christ for that, that gift, but the, it comes from the Father. So, as we move through this year, it is May, 
and we move upon Father's Day and Mother's Day, remember that our parents are very important. They are to reflect the Father's goodness, our Lady's goodness, and that love that they share. But God the Father has unconditional love with no strings attached for us. And very soon, I think, in this world, we are going to see the glory of the Father. We are going to see beautiful, beautiful things. For always, before stuff like that happens, what happens is we feel oppressed, in danger. And I think that's going on in our society today. If we look at, you know, the pattern of things, especially when we use a microcosm and we bring it down to the lowest common denominator. I know when something big in my life happens, I know that the enemy always attacks me right before. He tries to distract me from seeing the love of God and the gift of God before me. I would, it might be a little presumptuous to say, but on a larger level, I see that happening in the world today. I see a lot of distractions and a lot of oppression happening. And what that says to me is something very, very, very big is coming. And it's coming from God in a spiritual way. So my brothers and sisters, my advice to you is this. Get to confession. These are the five stones of, against Goliath. And they are taught in Medjugorje. And the five is confession monthly, Eucharist as much as you can, reading scripture daily, praying the rosary, and fasting. And fasting is a very powerful thing because what it does is it puts our spirit over our flesh. <clears throat> we look at our sin patterns in this world today. When everybody gets angry and fearful and jealous and all of these things that happen in the world, what happens is we start to hate ourselves. We start to feel unlovable and we start to move to the flesh to love and to feel that love, which is not real love. It's a pseudo love, it's, it's physical. But the thing is, is real love is a spiritual aspect of who God is. So the five things, once again, confession, Eucharist as much as we can, the Holy Rosary, fasting and reading scripture daily. Those things we can do to prepare ourselves for what's coming in the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We continue to pray for a spirit of holy boldness amongst our priests and bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in our world, within our church, within our families, and within our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick members of our parish, our parish families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those out there who may be disillusioned, who have a lack of faith, struggle with faith. Lord, we ask for your illumination, your awakening upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for governments, especially the UN. We pray for all people in the UN. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for Anne Stapleton, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of the Lord, may his glory of his name for our good and through all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. allow me to lead those who are home in a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus Christ, you are present in every tabernacle in the world. We ask that your grace, your love, your peace, your joy flood our hearts. Father, we petition you that this spiritual communion will affect us in a very powerful way and change us to drop those things that do not matter and cling to the things that do. We ask this to you, Father, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in their flesh 
the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.